Hey everyone, uh, in this lesson we're going to do another set of practice problems for medical terminology, the basics and anatomy. So the first one we're going to look at is encephalomalacia. So if we break it down, encephalo means brain or cerebrum, malaise and ia would be a condition, ia means condition, malaise means a softening, so it's a condition of softening. So encephalomalacia means cerebral softening. We can see this in hemorrhagic and ischemic strokes. The next word is prosopagnosia. If we break this word down, prosop, prosop means face. A is lack or lack of. Nosia is a recognition or knowledge. So if we put this together, prosopagnosia means an inability or um, a lack of ability to recognize faces. The next word is prognathism. So if we break it down, pro, pro means proceeding, so something that proceeds forward, generally. Nath means jaw, and ism is state of. So prognathism is a state of a proceeding jaw, and it really means when there's a protruding jaw. So prognathism is a state of a protruding jaw. The next word is onychocryptosis. So onycho means nail, crypt means hidden, osis means condition, generally an abnormal condition. So Onychocryptosis is an abnormal condition of a hidden nail, and what it really means is an ingrown nail. So if you have an ingrown nail, you have onychocryptosis. The next word is tympanoplasty. Tympano, tympano means tympanic membrane or eardrum. Plasty is a Suffix meaning surgical repair, so tympanoplasty is a surgical repair of the tympanic membrane. The next word is nyctalopia. Nyctalopia. So nyctal or nyct is something relating to the night or nighttime or darkness. Op, so you can think of optic or optician. Op means eyes or something to do with sight or vision. And ia is again uh, a condition or an abnormal condition. So nyctalopia is an abnormal condition of eyesight at night. So what it really means is a difficulty seeing in low light or difficulty seeing in, in the darkness. So the next word is phrenoplegia. Freno is a prefix meaning diaphragm. And plegia, you can think of paraplegia. Plegia means a condition of paralysis. So phrenoplegia means a paralysis of the diaphragm. The next word is cystalgia. The prefix cyst means bladder. So you can think of cystoscopy um, or cystoscope or a um, cystocele. Those all are related to the bladder. And the suffix alga means pain. So Cystalgia is a painful bladder. The next word is exotropia. So break it down again. Exo, we've heard exo or exoto or exotro. Exo means outside or outer or exterior. Op means sight or vision as we saw before. Ia is a condition of, so opia is a vision condition. An exotropia is a vision condition relating to outside positioning of the eye. And what it literally means is a condition whereby the eye is deviated um, outwardly. The next word is primi gravida. Primi, so you can think of primitive, you can think of prime. It means first. So primi is a prefix that means first. Gravida. Gravida actually means a pregnant woman. So primi gravida or primi gravida means a first pregnant woman. So that doesn't really make sense, but it actually means a first time pregnant woman. So when a woman is pregnant for the first time, 
she is a primi gravida or um, primi gravid. The next word is hypoglossal. Hypo, we've learned before hypo means under or below. And gloss or glossal, gloss means the tongue and the suffix al or o is usually means pertaining to, so glossal means pertaining to the tongue. Hypoglossal would literally mean pertaining to below the tongue. And you can think of the hypoglossal nerve when you think of this word. And again, hypoglossal means pertaining to below the tongue. The next word is arthrodesis. The prefix arthro, we can think of arthritis. Arthro means joint. And the suffix desis means to bind. Arthrodesis is a procedure to bind a joint. And really, really what it means is a procedure to immobilize a joint by fusion of adjacent bones. That is what arthrodesis is. The next word is leukoplakia. The prefix leuco, we can think of leukocytes. So what is what are leukocytes or white blood cells? So leuco is a prefix meaning the color white. And plakia is patchy mucous membranes. So leukoplakia means thickened white patches on a mucous membrane. The next word is episcleritis. Epi, you can think of epicenter. Epi is a prefix meaning around, something around something else. Sclare, you can think of the sclare of the eyes. So the sclare means pertaining to the sclare of the eyes. And itis, we know that the suffix itis is inflammation. Episcleritis is an inflammation around or surrounding the sclera of the eyes. The next word is poliomyelitis. Poliomyelitis. We break this down. Polio means gray matter. And when we refer to polio, the prefix polio means gray matter, and it generally means gray matter of brain, or it can be the gray matter of the spinal cord. Myel means spinal cord, so we can think of transverse myelitis. Myel means spinal cord. And the itis, again, means inflammation or inflammation of. So poliomyelitis is an inflammation of the gray matter in the spinal cord. And this is what we get when someone gets um, infect, infection with the polio virus. They get poliomyelitis. The next word is dysmesis. Dysmesis, so dys means problem or abnormal. Mesesis is another word meaning mastication or chewing. So dysmesis is a word that means abnormal mastication or chewing. The next word is midriasis. Mid is a prefix meaning wide. And iasis is a, an abnormal condition. So midriasis is an abnormal condition of wide pupils or dilated pupils. So I know that the word pupil is not in this medical term, but midriasis is literally means an abnormal condition of dilated pupils as opposed to my meiosis, which is uh, pinpoint pupils. The next word is pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma is a big word that we can break down into different pieces as we always do. Pheo, pheo means dusky or dark, and it really is a dusky or dark color. Chromo, you can think of chromatic. Chromo means color. Cyte, cyto or cyte means cell, and oma means tumor. Putting it all together, it means a cellular tumor that is dusky in color. And it's a weird word to describe what we 
call a chromaffin cell tumor that basically produces excessive amounts of uh, catecholamines. This is a condition whereby excessive catecholamines are produced leading to a variety of symptoms. So pheochromocytoma literally means, when we break it down, it is a cellular tumor that is dusky or dark in color. The next word is stercoral. So if we break that word down, sterk or sterker means denote, something denoting feces. And the suffix ill means pertaining to. So stercoral means something pertaining to feces. And you may see conditions such as a stercoral ulcer or stercoral colitis, and these things are related to issues generally with constipation. The next word is microangiopathy. Micro means microscopic or small. Angio means vasculature or artery. And pathy is a suffix meaning disease of. So this is a very easy one. Microangiopathy means a disease of microvasculature. And the last word is thyrotoxicosis. So we break that down again. The prefix thyro means thyroid gland. Toxic literally means toxicity. And in this case, we're talking about excessive hormone. And osis is an abnormal condition. So thyrotoxicosis is an abnormal condition due to excessive and often toxic levels of thyroid hormones leading to certain um, certain grave consequences. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this practice problems lesson helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.